kids and welcome welcome and um, I'm Jackie and I'm from the Bracknell site and I'm really excited to be with you this morning and uh, bringing a message to you so I am excited to hear about Paul's message which is from the book a book in the Bible written to Christians in Rome and believers everywhere that includes me and you so Romans is a letter written to ordinary people facing tough, hard situations. It's all about good news and has the power to change our lives forever. We have looked at the gospel and we've looked at sin and salvation, peace, freedom, and last week we had hope. Well, this week, we're going to be looking at mystery. If you look at the slide, you will see we're in a cloud. Why do you think that might be? Hmm. Well, if you've ever climbed a mountain, then there are times when you get to the top of the mountain and suddenly this mist comes down and you can't actually see where you're going or very much in front of you and it's a very strange feeling because things are unclear we can't see the path ahead of us we don't know which way to go this is a reminder that sometimes there are things about god that we just don't know and do you know what girls and boys that is okay and it doesn't matter if you're a grown-up or you're a child, we will never know those things until we get to heaven. So, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at how Paul encourages people to share the good news about Jesus. We have lots of people in our schools and in our families. So like my husband, he doesn't believe, he doesn't know who God is, but Who's going to tell them if you don't tell your friends and I don't tell my husband? Now, God works in mysterious ways and I know that he could reveal himself to Chris in a way that only God and Chris know. But I need to step out. I need to step out and trust in that, knowing God is going to do what I can't do. But he will take my words and he will help Chris to know. And it's the same with you and your friends in school or your family. It's a mystery. That is the mystery that we will not understand, but it is a mystery. So today, our memory verse is, it is written in Romans 10, 15, it says, how beautiful are the feet of the person who comes to bring good news. Feet. Woo! Ooh! Ooh! I don't know that I'd want to show my feet. And sometimes people, we do not like to see their feet. So this is a mystery here, isn't it? Why on earth would Paul say that? Well, Paul is telling us in our memory verse that God wants us to tell other people about Jesus and not keep it to ourselves. And when we do, guess what? Our feet are beautiful. I quite like to have beautiful feet myself. <laughs> so, I wonder what else it says. Well, sometimes we might think that our feet are horrible. And in Roman times, people's feet were horrible. They were stinky. The roads weren't very nice. And they were calloused and hard because they did lots of walking everywhere because they didn't have cars. And anyway, Jesus says that feet that walk and tell others about him are beautiful, even if they are smelly and hard and don't look very nice. Jesus said they're beautiful. So I've got a little story about a missionary and he was preaching in the village market and some of the people were laughing at him because he was not a very handsome man. 
He took it for a time and then he said to the crowd, it is true that I do not have beautiful hair, for I'm almost bald, nor do I have beautiful teeth, for they are not mine. They were made by a dentist and I do not have a beautiful face, nor can I afford to wear beautiful clothes. But this I know, I have beautiful feet. God tells me so. He then quoted this verse found in Romans. How beautiful are the feet of the person who comes to bring good news. So today's Bible verse is taken from a, a book in the New Testament of the Bible and the book is called Matthew and it can be found in Matthew 28 verses 16 to 20. So I wonder how long has God been proclaiming the good news? Well, since forever. And he wants us to tell others too. Jesus gave his, his, his disciples and his followers many instructions during his time on earth. And I'm going to read to you one of the most famous ones. So Matthew 28, verses 16. The 11 followers went to Galilee. They went to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. On the mountain, they saw Jesus and worshiped him. But some of them did not believe that it was really Jesus. Then Jesus came to them and said, all power in heaven and on earth is given to me. So go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have told you you can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. So girls and boys, I, I just wanna say a huge thank you to God, to Jesus, and I wanna, I am so grateful that I know Jesus and that the mystery has been revealed to me, the mystery but there is so much that I do not know. And I would like this morning just to spend a few moments being still. And I'm gonna pray for us. So we can stand, sit down, put our hands out, close our eyes, whatever you feel comfortable doing, it doesn't matter. It's what's comfortable for you. And I'm going to pray. And I'm going to say, Holy Spirit, come. Father God, I want to thank you for the mystery. And I want to thank you. There is so much I don't know and won't know. Father, would you help us to trust you in the mystery and the not knowing. And Father, now would you send your Holy Spirit to help us to be bold, to be courageous, to be warriors for you. Would you help us to pick up that sword and that shield and go out into the world and tell them that there is a God in heaven who loves them and will never leave them, will never forsake them, will always be there for them. God, would you give us your power? Yeah. 
and help us to trust and believe that what we are saying is going to make a huge difference in the lives of the people around us. Don't let us fear. Don't let us fear what they might think or say to us. But to know, God, that you have got it and that you have got us and that we're precious to you and that you have chosen us for such a time as this and nothing will snatch us away from you. So come Holy Spirit upon each and every one of us. We thank you Father. amazing. God loves you and he's chosen you. 
for a very special purpose and a very special calling. And let those feet take you this week to places you would never have dreamed of going and give you courage and boldness to step out and into where he's going to show you. And when you hit a wall, don't forget, pray, ask God to help you. Because he'll show up just when you need him. He always does, because he loves you. You're special. <laughs>